Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is focused on my very first Strand Warlock build that will give you infinite Threadlings to spam no matter how you go about it. The moment I saw Warlocks with Threadlings being shown in the trailers, I told myself this would be the very first build to focus on around these areas considering how strong they generally looked. And with no surprise, the Threadlings are crazy good with how aggressive and passive they can play. They have a large AoE damage attack, aggressive tracking, and are capable of splitting off into more Threadlings who are even needing for us to attack. It's all crazy when you get it all going, and with 100% of my heart, I can see Threadlings being popular for endgame environments similar to Stasis Warlocks over time. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an army of Threadlings with the new Fragments, an ideal mod to achieve all of this. To start, you're going to want to have Weaver's Call, where casting a Rift will produce 3 Threadlings and deploy any Threadlings on you. You'll then want Mindspun, Invocation, to enhance your grenades, which will be threading grenades. As you can see, straight away, that the options to create Threadlings on the fly is very easy. Now, in this base form, they do what is needed, but the cooldown rate for all of this is quite heavy without the needed mods to support it. Now, I will warn you that even if you have Tier 10 Discipline, this will still not be enough, which is why the method I'm going to show you will help elevate some of that pain. Looking into fragments, I've chosen a setup that focuses primarily on enhancing our threading damage and effects while out on the field. Thread of Rebuff allows strand weapons a chance to create threadlings on kills. Thread of Finality allows finishers to create threadlings. Thread of Generation allows strand based damage to generate grenade energy. And Thread of Evolution allows threadlings to travel further and deal additional damage. The Thread of Evolution and Generation are two fragments that are going to play a big part within how the build can function for longer. With Enhanced Threadlings, they would deal more damage to targets and also be giving us grenade energy back doing so, which you can then replicate a routine to always have your grenades fully replenished or passively regenerated over time with armor charges in play. I also added on the new Swarmers Exotics that each time we destroy a Tangle, we can create more Threadlings on the go. Basically, no matter what you do, you always have a Threadling nearby or with you. For the mods and stats section, you're going to need to have a lot of grenade based mods to help with reducing the cooldown rate for your abilities. As we are using the Threadling grenades, they have a high base cooldown, which even at tier 9 to 10 discipline is still quite a lot. So for this, you'll want to stick within that range as best as possible, but you're going to want to have the following. 2 grenade kickstart mods, 2 innovation mods, and 3 bomber mods. This may sound overkill compared to what we are used to, but this is going to massively help you with getting your grenades back fast outside the realm of using your weapon with demolitions on it. You can reduce the number of mods used if you wish, so you can slot in something else. However, I advise you against this as this will give you the best option to get Threadlings over and over again, but also the only way you can make the build work without the added on mods to make sure you are creating orbs of power and producing them at the same rate as your grenades. The Thread of Wisdom Fragment can allow you to create orbs of power as long as you net a positioning kill while they are suspended, and this can work out with the build if you use your created tangles right there. However, this will mean one of the four fragments currently used will need to be swapped out, so think about this before going ahead. If this isn't for you and you want to stick with the build, then having the armor charges available are going to help in the long run. Charged up and stacks on stacks is going to give you a plus one to charge stacks so you'll overall get 4 charges when active. Next, you're going to want to have the firepower mod so your grenades can produce orbs of powers on kill. And then, strand cypher mod for producing orbs of power via strand weapons if you have one. If you don't, then have the kinetic cypher mod on instead. And lastly, we have the ashes to ashes times 2 mod so that we can get our super back quickly. Once all of these mods are covered, you should be good with grenade regeneration and seeing less chances of the build failing. So left over, Resilience can be at tier 6 to 10 depending on your mod space and how much space you have left over. While Recovery is going to be at tier 10 out of the bag so that we can utilize our Weaver's Call aspect. This, along with Swarmers, is going to make our uptime a whole lot more longer lasting. Now lastly, the weapons being used will be strand related as I want to try them out to see just how good they are, but also because I have the Allied Unraveling mod from the Seasonal Artifact which allows strand weapons to have unraveling rounds and last longer while near teammates. 
The Neptune Destination hand cannon, sniper, and SMG are the easiest to farm and grind for, while doing the seasonal defiance can net you the auto rifle. I was lucky and got the auto rifle with Envious Assassin and Target Lock, which is a great pen for the build overall. This is a 600 RPM AR with a base magazine of 41 and is great for sustaining damage for a long time. The roll gotten works pretty well for the weapon, since Envious Assassin will overflow if I use another weapon on the hand, while Target Lock is going to increase our damage the longer it stays on our target. With how big the magazine can get and the damage output being placed, it can almost feel like a machine gun in your connect slot. If you're really lucky though, you could get a roll with the Hatchling perk, where getting a kill with a stun weapon will produce a friendling near your target. This means, each kill you get, you can produce even more friendling while your abilities are out, and if you wanted even more reason to produce them, well, this is probably a good weapon to farm for. So the conclusion, what can I say? This build is fantastic from start to finish and allows players to play as a sort of Beastmaster in Destiny. Well, kind of. The idea that you can produce these miniature heat-seeking worms to track down your targets and cause mass damage not seen since Void 3.0 was released is quite interesting and fun to experience. It's very similar to Void with how everything connects and how everything focuses on the large AoE effects that get pulled off, but also how far everything will spread and cause a chain reaction. However, compared to the light subclasses, this is something very new that Destiny has not ever experienced until now. Threadlings are similar to Arc Souls and even take on the form similar to them when out of action, but instead of being on a time limit, they will stay with you until you start shooting again so you can move from one area to another while saving your other abilities up. This to me is going to be huge in the long run, as the threading builds like this will allow more easier of control in highly contested areas. While status is good for freezing an area for X amount of time, Strand is going to help with slowing and catching targets who have a habit of running or staying behind cover. This build is going to show you what happens when you lean heavily into the threading side of Warlocks, as each move and ability you use will reduce threadlings by the bucket load. This is also why you're going to want to have the new Swarmers boost while using the build, as the exotic allows spawn tangles to produce a threadling upon destruction. Now, considering that to get a tangle to spawn, all you need to do is get a kill with your strand abilities, you can see where this is going. As long as we net a kill with our abilities, we can produce a finite amount of tangles and threadlings that can spawn whenever we are ready. Think of landmines. Now, think of heat seeking landmines. That's the build in a few sentences. Its simple nature and design will allow players of all types to have a great time with Strand, and if you have been feeling hesitant on them, then let this video be your guide. But what do you think? So, there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below, while at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub bar here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, I hope to see you again soon.